this is Crew Online too. Several students from Vera campuses have true and getting the ground very heated up this hour of the day. Should inscribe a policy, it must be backed and accepted by all librarians, which are the representative of the over 4.5 million people of the republic that has to do with the legislative branch 
and that of the House of Senate. So we are aware that this bill has been passed from the angle of the legislature. We also want to use this time to appreciate them. But since the bill has entered into the room of the Senate, it has, been, it has not been concurred with. So the Avangar Progressive Alliance has deemed it necessary that the House of Senate must expeditiously pass this bill because we believe that this bill is a generational thing. If the CC government leaves from power, we do believe our government will come over and it should not be seen as a particular government policy, but rather it should be seen as a policy that has been accepted by the overall 4.5 million population of this country, which has been represented by the House of Legislature. And that is why we are here. So on the backdrop, there is going to be a petition, a document being presented to the House of Senate with all of our arguments. And we will give them a time interval to peruse such document and in subsequent time to we'll come back to the public, the student community and the nation at large, telling us that they have suggested this document and they see some reasonable, you know, credentials within this document to pass this bill into law. And how long are you gonna give them? Obviously, obviously we will not give them an ultimatum because we are aware normally they have two days in sections. So, for us, we will not give them time. But the part remains that it should be expeditiously done. And so, I do believe it has been lying down for over three months. So, I believe they have had an argument. But some of them have decided to play plan and they have politicized the issue. On grounds that they are seeing it for a particular government. So, this time around, it's not about the executive. You are seeing converge of students Militants from different high schools, different colleges and universities that have conversed. That signifies the population of the students and the youth community of this country. That we have come, that we want to appreciate the Allen executive and it is our benefit. And we want to call upon the House of Senate to pass this thing into law. So what impact do you think will have on the students? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Manda. 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 So, I want to use this time to quickly turn over the the polio and the ally to RDC2, who is going to swiftly narrate essence of our being here and then quickly will be our petition and then it will be accepted by the House of City. Abisi to you are welcome. Amanda Manda 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 Amanda, Luta, Viva, 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 La Viva, 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 Students of the Republic of Liberia, members of the Fourth Estate, let me bring you warm and heartfelt revolutionary greetings, enveloped and packaged in egalitarianism, social justice, and academic freedom. From the office of the man who presides over the twelve butter sections, cross section, and joint sections of Africa's fastest growing neo progressive, mass based revolutionary student movement. The Revolutionary Avant Garde Progressive Student Alliance of the University of Liberia. So, and comrades, today is another historic day. And today will be witnessed in history of one of the greatest demonstrations for academic freedom in the Republic of Liberia. So, as we have converged here today, we have gathered here in our normal peaceful posture. 
We have gathered here today to send a message. We have gathered here today to petition the upper house, that is the Senate. We have come to inform them that we have followed after the president pronounced free tuition at the level of the University of Liberia as conscious students of the University of Liberia. Wow. We see that to be something massive driven. We see that to be something proper. So we have come here to call on the Senate to hastily. We have come on, we have come here to inform the Senate to expeditiously pass the bill that is currently languaging before the Senate into law. We want to say that this particular bill, when passed into law, it will not only benefit us, it will benefit our unborn children. We want to say to the Liberian Senate, we have not come here in violence. We have not come here to throw stones. We have come here in our normal peaceful posture. And the record, the record can prove to that. So we are calling on them that we are here, we are under the sun, we are remain here, we have never surrendered into cowardice. We are oh. Yo, yo, yo! We want to fight to take our petition. Yo, yo! Yo! Manda, manda, luta. Bay yang, bay yang, bay yang, bay yang, bay yang, bay yang. We bring petitions. We bring guns. Bay yang. Hey, comrades! We have followed this bill. After this bill was preferred, that is the National Equity Act. After it was preferred. But the representative of Monserrat District Number no. Five, impressing of Honorable Thomas P. Fallai, we are aware that it has been transferred to the Upper House, to the Senate, for concurrence and to be passed into law. We want to say here today, we have converged at the grounds of the Capitol building. We are calling on our lawmakers. The students you see here today, they are potential lawmakers in waiting. So we are calling on you, we are conscious students in the Republic of Liberia. So we are never intimidated by the presence of police. For we have come here in our normal peaceful posture. We just want to call on the national legislature, we want to call on the Senate to come and receive our petition. It is very clear this particular bill is revolutionary. This particular bill will go down history. This is something that will benefit the students of the Republic of Liberia. So we are calling on them to pass the free wash policy. The free work into law. Mm. Now, we want to say to you, there are some of our parents, for some of us, we are representation of the trenches. Say, yo! Us, you can take your telecare, but get our free work. Say, yo! Say, yo! Say, yo! Say, yo! You can take your telecare, but get our free tuition. Say, yo! Say, yo! Amanda! Yeah. Yeah. Luta. Some of us, we are representation of some of the densely slum communities throughout the limping breath of the Republic of Liberia. Yeah. The faces you see here, these are students who hail from places like West Wind. These are students who hail from places like Claratan. These are students who hail from places like Duquitan. We want to say to you today to pass this particular bill into law. Mm. For the particular bill stand to benefit the students of the Republic of Liberia. So. We want to say to the Liberian Senate, we want to say to the Liberian Senate, it's an attempt in the face, in the face of the distribution of 30,000 United States dollars. It is an attempt to provoke the students of the of, the, of Liberia. Oh. It is an attempt to provoke the students of, of Liberia. We have followed that the senior year, they brought a reality TV star year. And they gave you all this year, they celebrated him, they decorated him year. Conscious students of the Republic of Liberia are gathered to present a petition that is revolutionary to the Liberian Senate. And what we are witnessing, they are playing blind eyes. What we are witnessing, they are ignoring the convergence of university students and high school students. We want to say to you, never overlook the convergence of students in history. When students converge in history, do not overlook that convergence. We want to say to you, we will remain here, we will call on the Liberian Senate peacefully, we will call on them to ensure, and we will continue to remain here to ensure that that particular bill is expeditiously passed in the law. We're not going anywhere, we ready. Yo, yo, yo! We are not that to be walking away. Yo, yo, yo! We are TMX, we remain ready. Yo, yo, yo! Are you ready? Bay young, bay young, bay young, you brought where money here, you doctor right here, don't doctor right our bill. Bay young, yo! Bay young, 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 bay
in our lifetime we see this to be one of the greatest sacrifices. One of the greatest sacrifices that we can ever render to our generation. We want to say to you today that this particular bill seeks, this particular bill seeks to help the students of the Republic of Liberia. This particular bill is generational. So we call on the Liberian Senate to listen to the students, to listen to the angry voices of Liberian students. We call on them for us, our parents cannot afford to send out to the Stella Marie. Our parents cannot afford to send out to the Cotiton. Our parents cannot afford to send out to the to, to, to UMU and all our expensive universities. What we want to say here, education is a fundamental human right. So you must give the Liberian students you must, in order to build a nation, you must build a human resource capacity. And to do that, you must open a university. Not only that, but you should issue, you should pass into law that particular bill that is language in foreign language in before the Liberian Senate. You should pass that into law so that students can have the opportunity. Students who were here from Bongo GA, students who were here from Dog Community West Point, will have the opportunity to enroll in a state going university where they will not be coerced where they will not be forced to pay a certain amount to acquire tertiary education. We want to say to you... We are aware, as conscious students of the Republic of Liberia, that we have a responsibility in history. And we are also aware that history does not elaborate those who refuse to elaborate themselves. So we have come here today, we have converged peacefully to elaborate ourselves and to call on the Liberian Senate to pass the bill into law. We want to say to you today, what we are doing here, what we are doing here, we are only contributing. We are contributing to all the populous people's struggle. We are contributing, we are, we are rendering our honest contribution to the popular student struggle. We want to say to you here, we remain here. We are never intimidated, we have never been sent into cowardice. We will never compare to late. We want to inform you that we are fellow people who have played a pivotal role, who have contributed to the freedom struggle of their people. We follow the role played by people like Nelson Mandela. You sacrifice, you are willing to walk into prison lifetime. You are willing to accept death as a punishment. We have come here today. We are never afraid. We will never surrender into cow that will never submit. We want to say to you. The police want to stay the struggle, the Johnny Honor. Yo, yo. Yo. Some of them teaching a uniform, they're wearing color clothes, getting in the struggle, because some of them are here in the presence of Liberia. Yo, yo. Yo. Their children are in high school. Yo, yo. Yo. They will benefit from this struggle. Yo, yo. Yo. We want to say to you, when conscious students gather in history, do not overlook that convergence. We have said that. And let me reference you and inform you that in South Africa, you should follow the June 16, 1979, Soweto or Brazil. It took the courage, it took the resilience of conscious students to gather and challenge the apartheid regime. We want to inform you of the role played by conscious students at the Tenement Square massacre in China. We also want to inform you of the role played by conscious students at the Greensboro set in. This was a struggle that gave breath to people like Martin Luther King Jr. This was a struggle that gave breath to people like Rosa Parks. So what we are doing here, we are committing no crime. What we are doing here, we are only contributing, we are answering to the core, to the core of history. That tomorrow when we shall have stood before the judgment seat of history, the story will recall on the positive pages. But we are watching those who will refuse, those who will refuse, those who will deliberately decide to play blind eye toward the student interest. We want to say to you today, you will be indicted on the pages of history. Let me say to you, Historical indictees, historical indictees have no place in history. We are here, we have gathered here in our normal peaceful posture. We want to echo our voice to the Liberian Senate. We want to inform the Liberian Senate that the particular bill seeks to benefit the over one million students in the Republic of Liberia. Wow. We want to say to you, there's a need to receive our petition. We want to say to you, there's a need to expeditiously, to hurriedly pass this particular bill into law. We want to say to you, you are our direct representative. We cannot go anywhere. We, the only place we can run to, to, we can run to our direct representative. 
They are the ones who were champions. They are the ones who can pass this particular bill into law. We want to say to you, these are sons and daughters of the economically dispossessed class. These are sons and daughters of the marginalized class. If you do not feel their pains, if you cannot feel the internal disgust of those people, it is, it is their, their parents in the market. Their parents in the market are still on long queue to vote you during election time. Mm. They stay on the sun. They stay on the ring. Mm. We want to say to you today, we are the representation of women in the market. They want us to acquire tertiary education to transform their lives. We want to say to you today, we are not causing trouble. We are not troublemakers. There is no history of violence in our spine. There is no history of violence in our record. We want to say to you, PROSA is a revolutionary institution. It was this particular revolutionary institution that championed the cause for the free tuition that caused the president to issue the pronouncement of free tuition. There's the same revolutionary institution I've gathered on the guns of the Capitol Bailey to call on the Labrian Senate to enact this particular bill into law. We want to say to you, for us, we do not take personal glory in this particular struggle. This particular struggle benefits the overall student of the Republic of Liberia. So we see there as a historical obligation. We see there as a revolutionary mandate. It is a responsibility that we have to our generation. And we will execute that because history has given all the responsibility. Yo, so, pass it into law, take the girl out, take our free tuition. Yo, yo. Yo. We don't want glory, we want education. Yo, yo. Yo. We want to say to the lawmakers, we want to say to the Labrian Senate, the yeah, Senate said to the Labrian Senate it was at the expense of ordinary Liberians standing on long queue to vote you into power. You should not see this as an opportunity to lock down on the ordinary people's children. We want to say to you today that we remain here. We remain posted on the grounds of the Capitol building. We are not going anywhere. No form of intimidation can take us from here. All we want, we just want the lawmakers to send a representation down here to receive our petition. We want to send a clear message, a clear message to the Labrian Senate to see reason to pass this particular bill into law. For us, for us as young student radicals and as young conscious students who have fled the pages of history, we have been we have been moved by the resilience of people like Chris Honey. We have been moved by the resilience the people that are deeper to evil, you are to evil. We have been moved. We have been moved by the resilience of people like Senu Juma. We have been moved by the resilience of people like Patrick Muma of the Congolese Liberation Organization. So we want to say to you, we want to say to you today, we are young student revolutionaries. We are never shy away from our role in history. We will always own up to our role and we will always take responsibility for our actions. So, for gathering here today, we owe no one apology. That's the reason why we say we are going to gather on the grounds of the Capitol building unapologetically to send a message to the Liberian Senate to inform them to pass this bill. This bill is masses driven. This bill will benefit the students of the Republic of Liberia. We understand, we understand that if you do not have your children here going to school, or some of your children, you can afford to send them to the Stella Maris. We want to inform you that it was not only your children that elected you to be senator. We want to inform you that it was the ordinary people's children that stood on long queue to elect you as senator. Yo, we want to. Your children are looking at me, you know, make a yo yo. Yo! Way young, way young, way young, way young. 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 Way young, way young.
Ranto ya pelete to ya pian ya session zayo 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 even I can all we are pian ya session zayo zayo Amanda Amanda Aluta comrades let me say to you is there anything wrong is there anything wrong for calling on the Liberian Senate to pass a bill that will that will help to pass a bill that will help to benefit the students of the Republic of Liberia, I want to say to you, we have committed no wrong. I want to say to you, we have committed no crime. We have come here today to achieve a simple tax. And that tax is to just call on the Liberian Senate to receive our petition to leave from the grounds of the Capitol building. We have come with a simple message and a very clear and unequivocally clear message. We have come to send a message to the Liberian Senate to receive our petition to ensure that this particular bill can be out in the law. So let me say to you, comrades, this is a historical obligation. For those of you we have gathered here today, Jack Gary Manuel of the August 28, 1963 March and the Lincoln Memorial, and Martin Luther King Jr. delivered the, fear, the, the famous I have a dream speech. Let me say to you, your name has been recorded in history today for standing on the side, for standing on the side of the Liberian students. Your name has been recorded in history today for standing on the side of history. I want to say to you today that when we shall have stood before the judgment seat of history, history will look at you and follow your struggle credential and say, depart from me for I know you not. For us, we don't want to stand before the judgment seat of history and history tell us, depart from me. So we are under the revolutionary obligation to play our role. So we have congressed here, we have assembled here today to call on the, the upper house, to call on the Labrador Senate to receive our petition. That is very simple and it's very clear. I think the record here. Yeah, 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 simple mente, yeah, 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 simple mente, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't for it, we'll come for you. Yo, yo, yo. Anna, where is the doctor? Continue. So we want to say to the Liberian Senate, they are following the students. I've gathered at the grounds of the Capitol building who's been here for the past two hours. So for the record, we want to inform the public that Liberian students have gathered at the grounds of the Capitol building to call on the senators to pass the bill, the National Equity Act, the bill that talks about free tuition, the bill that talks about free, the free was fee to be inserted into law. For the record, we have gathered here today peacefully to call on the Liberian Senate. So we want to say to them, we will remain here, we are posted, and we are calling on them. For the next three, four hours, we will remain here. We just want to call on them to receive our petition. Words are not bullets. Words will not kill. We just want you to receive our petition so that you can pass this particular bill into law. But if that cannot be done, we can assure them that we will remain here. So if there are two ways, if the Labrador Senate cannot come to us, we will move to the Labrador Senate. Hey, yo! He has made a point of statement by the chairman of proof of it. Zayo! 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 We are after him, I've been the chairman of both. Zayo! Zayo! Amanda! 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 Whoa, 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 whoa! We want to say that 
For us, we are not going to be moved by the tactics. We want to say that it is not only nefarious, but it is egregious. In the face, in the face of serious economic challenge, the senators, the lawmakers, will distribute unjustifiable 30,000 United States dollars. <clears throat> and Liberian students have gathered. We are not requesting for your 30 United States dollars. All we are requesting for here is for you to pass into law the free tuition and the free wage fee. So we want to say here that this is a responsibility. This is a call to history, a call to duty that we have answered to. We are aware and we are aware of the consequences. So we have gathered here today to just jump on task, to jump on task and voice out our concern, to express our concern 